Hey everyone, T-Dow here, and today I am bringing you a new video. It's been a while since I've uploaded on my K-pop uh, channel, but uh, I felt like I had to make a video for this particular subject because it's, uh, it's, it's concerning, uh, at least for me, and you know I feel like I have to address it because you know it's it's not fair for the people who are you know involved in this uh, controversy. So the controversy I'm talking about, as you can guess from the title of this video, is the um, G Friend incident uh, with SBS Broadcasting Station. Like they were having this big ass festival, you know, like most broadcasting broadcasting stations do. They have an end of the year festival kind of thing where a bunch of musical acts come out and they perform for the audience and you know, you know, end the year on a great note. But um, uh, in this particular festival, uh, Twice was. Be about to perform like they were up on stage i think they're gonna perform either cheer up or twice i can't remember which song it was but um during the break or during or when they were about to perform uh sbs fucked up and they played uh g friends uh track in the background which had pre-recorded voices and this particular person who was singing was unha so um it was already spoiled so it was already spoiled to who was going to sing first when g friend came out and Unha was supposed to have her solo stage before the rest of the group joined her. So because of this incident, um, people started jumping on the bandwagon and started criticizing G-Friend, saying that they, they can't li uh, they can't sing live and they rely on lip sync and whatnot. And you know, it, it was it was a good minute that passed before SBS you know changed uh, G-Friend's song into Twice's song because you know Twice were the performance. I mean. Looking at it, both groups were affected. Like, definitely both groups were affected by this fuck-up. Um, but on my end, I feel like Chief Friend was affected a little bit more. Um, so to give, give you some background story of, you know, why why I'm so concerned about this is because recently I've become a really huge Chief Friend fan. You know, I've become a buddy. Like, uh, it's, uh, like, I, I heard their song Rough and I was watching Random Dance or uh 2x speed dance with uh g friend i was like damn these girls are fucking great you know they 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 dance very well they have nightlife choreography i mean that's what they're known for they're known for their dance choreography but um you know they 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 they're great performers you know and i i was drawn into them and now i'm kind of obsessed with them don't don't get me wrong i still love twice i mean you know half of my stuff on this channel or some of my stuff on this channel mainly involves twice but you know, G-Friend, I've become a recent fan of them too. So, this is why I'm making a video about today, just to talk, to address the big issue here. So, one, this is SBS fault. They need to fucking, I don't know, write an apology or, or, or something, or just apologize to both groups and the audience for the fuck up. Uh, they need to fire the guy or the people involved in fucking up. I mean, this is a huge, huge event. Uh, domestically and internationally, you know, everyone's watching this. You need to be on point. You can't fuck up. This is how it works. You can't fuck up. You fuck up, you should be fired. So I think whoever that person who was in charge of the music should be, you know, switched to a different department, fired or whatever, do something. They need, they need to be punished for this. Um, I mean, I, I am being a little bit harsh of it, but in reality, they fucked up really hard. <laughs> I mean. How, how can you get stuff mixed up? This is your job, for Christ's sake. You're not supposed to fuck up. Um, third of all, um, I want to just uh, just talk about the whole lip syncing thing here. Um, I, I, do, I do realize that people you know prefer talent over lip syncing, but here's the thing. Um, there are several reasons why you know, idols choose to lip sync. It might not even be their decision to lip sync. Uh, for G Friend's case, I, I I don't think they were gonna lip sync. I don't think they were going to lip sync that performance. Uh, I mean, uh, if you watch the performance, and I have a video in the background right here, I'm not gonna play it. But if you watch the performance, you do hear them singing. Like Unha, of course, because of the incident she has, she was pretty much forced to sing live at the beginning. I mean, I, I think she was gonna sing live uh, originally, but because of the incident, it forced her to sing live, and maybe it affected the plans uh, that the company originally had for her. I, I don't know. I don't know the behind the scenes of this stuff. But, you know, the, the lip syncing is not really a bad thing. My point is, 
Well, that is my point. Limp Sticking is not a bad thing. I just do it all the time. Um, if you look in the past, you know, big bands have lip sync. You know, Super Junior, TVXQ. Um, I'm not sure a big bang has, but, you know, SNSD has lip synced before, pretty sure. You know, all these big groups before these girls, or yeah, before G-Friend, they have lip synced before too. Twice has lip synced before too. I mean, this is, this is like, you know, the basic standard of the music industry. It, they lip sync for certain reasons, you know. EXO, I remember when I started watching, uh, when I first, when, when EXO first came out, they lip synced a lot too. So it's... I mean, I don't know why people are getting upset about this lip sync thing. They act like it's fucking new or some shit. I look, I know talent is great. You know, it it should override lip sync. You know, at all costs. But there are several factors that goes into you know why people choose to lip sync or why they have to lip sync. Maybe in G Friend's case, uh, here in particular, like like I said, I don't think they were gonna lip sync originally. But if they were lip syncing, then it might be because they're saving their vocals for another show or they're saving their vocals for a comeback or because the, their agency just didn't want them to lip, uh, sing live. I mean, uh, another point I like to bring up is dancing. You know, G-Friend is known for their like really hard dance choreographies. So, you know, dancing and singing is not easy. I mean, Look at TVXQ, for example, the five members, they're, they're great at singing and dancing. That's because, you know, they've had a lot of practice and they've, you know, um, they've mastered their craft. But uh, G Friends are still kind of, I guess, I, I, want to, I would say they're kind of rookies. They debuted in 2015, but they're still early in their career, so they still have a lot to craft and master. I mean, there, there are several reasons to why. You know these idol groups lip sync and you shouldn't just jump on the bandwagon and criticize them because oh yeah she's gonna lip sync i mean who the fuck cares if they lip sync at the end of the day they're still there showing up and performing am i right i mean what else more do you want from them <laughs> look i don't understand why it, 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 it i mean i mean of course it's a big deal that sbs fucked up but you know i felt like people are Focusing on the wrong thing, if you know what I mean. Like they fo they're too focused on the lip sync thing. Like, oh yeah, G Friend can't sing live. They lip sync. They can't. You know, they're not talented. That's pretty. That's pretty much what they're aiming at. But you know, if you watch other G Friend videos or G Friend performances, of course they, you know, they, they they sing live. They sing live sometimes, and they sing. They sound really great. You know, and plus they dance too, which is an added bonus. I mean, they are good performers, you know, they, this is the group that got famous because of them always slipping and, you know, getting back up and never giving up. Um, I think it was Me Gusta Stu, uh, when they were promoting that song, like, I think it was Yuju, followed them like five or six times and, you know, they got famous because, you know, they just kept going on and didn't let that slip up, mess up their performance, you know, very admirable. And this is why G Friends are very popular right now too. Um... I mean, I just, I I think we shouldn't place the blame on G-Friend, obviously. Uh, SBS is at fault. They need to apologize to both Twice and G-Friend. Uh, they fucked up immensely. I mean, it, this, this controversy affected G-Friend a little bit more than Twice, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, I hope they make it up to them and they, they issue an apology and... Whoever that person was in charge of it was either let go or moved to a different department. I, mean, I, I don't know, but I I hope it's resolved. Um, to the fandom of G Friend buddies, I hope that you know us as fans are able to you know cheer them up, you know protect them and all that stuff. You know, I was ranting about this shit earlier on Facebook. I was like, I watched the video. You can see how visually you know how how visually upset they look. Like, who knows? They just want to cry. I was like, no don't do it, you know, because I was feeling sad too. I was about to cry too, to be honest, but, you know, it, it's, it, it hurts to watch someone who you like or who you care about so much go through, you know, something, something sad, something bad, you know? I, I mean, I, I honestly just wanted to like, you know, grab a fucking bat and go to Korea and beat up the person who fucking, you know, messed up this performance for them. But, you know, it's, 
it happens, it happens, you know, it happens, you know, they will grow from this experience, they will definitely bring us, you know, a better performance later on, um, you know, us as the fans, we should support them, and of course protect them at all costs, all costs, you know, all costs, nothing too crazy, but all costs, and, uh, you know, just, just, just keep supporting them, you know, of course, SBS uh, is the one to blame, and I think, I haven't read anything about an apology yet, but I think from the public backlash that they have received, then they will most likely issue an apology or some some shit. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I mean, I just wanted to clear up some stuff about this performance. I mean, limp syncing. I don't know why people act like it's new. It's it's not fucking new. People have done it many times in the past. You know, like I said. You know, earlier, T Vex Q has done it, Super Junior has done it, um, SNSD has done it, you know, XO has done it. I mean, it's not that fucking surprising. I understand that it's a big festival and, you know, you're supposed to sing live, but there are several factors that, you know, ends up having the idols lip syncing. Like, there, there are reasons why they lip sync. It's not like because they want to. Or if they want to, maybe because they're sick or something. Like I said, several factors that go into why people lip sync. Company, sickness, dancing. Um, I don't know. It's, there are several factors that go into it. So, yeah. Fuck those guys who criticize your friend. They can, they can jump off a cliff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for the video. That's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to clear some things up with lip syncing because, I mean, like I said earlier, it's... It's whatever, you know, people people have lipstick in the past. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I've been ranting a little bit too much. Uh, I just had to talk about this issue in particular because it was heartbreaking, you know, very, very heartbreaking to watch. Uh, you know, I, I love Unha like she was, like she's my own friend or, you know, my own, I wouldn't say sibling, but... <laughs> Because, you know, I, I like her in that sort of way. But, you know, my bias is Yerden, but I love all the girls, too. But, you know, it's just, I, I feel like watching her get hurt, it's like, it, it sparked a fire in me. You know, it's like watching a close friend get hurt. You know, you don't want that to happen to any of your family or friends. So, it's it's very frustrating that it happened. And I hope SBS fixed it. SBS fixes it, and they issue an apology, and... You know, that person got fired or removed or some shit. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Buddies, I hope, you know, we keep you keep supporting G-Friend and protect them from all the, you know, the haters and, uh, and the k citizens and the international citizens that are fucking with G-Friend. Protect them at all costs. Alright. <laughs> That's all I have to say. See ya!